Life is messy. Monday was really, really messy. Snow all over the place. I know if I hear one more person telling me how tired they are, we are, of all things corona, pandemic, I'm with you. Life is messy. Even over the last couple of weeks, just so many of our members coming with family problems. Life is messy. A number of our members, young members, finding themselves in the hospital and sick. Very sad, honestly. Life is messy. And in all the messiness of life, what we celebrated a few weeks back is that God chose to enter into the messiness. He sent Jesus to dwell among us in the messiness. He was born in the messiness of a manger, of a stable. And you can say, Father Bob, that's a Christmas message. But honestly, isn't it a message we need to hear every day, all the time, and forever? Why? Because honestly, life is messy. The snow is messy. Sickness and struggle is messy. This pandemic has been a burden beyond words. Family life is complicated, if not at times messy as well. And in all the messiness, the one who can sort it out and help us find our way is Jesus Christ. One of the things that gives me great comfort and hope is for myself, and seeing so many members coming into the chapel or coming into the church, spending a few moments in quiet prayer. Why? Amid all the chaos and confusion, the messiness, it is Christ who has the ability to center us, focus us, ground us, and especially give us peace, wisdom, strength that we need. It's not like we're going to be able to erase the messiness and like, boom, it's all going to go away. But with Christ, the light stronger than the darkness, the one who entered into the messiness so we could find our way, and the one who walks with us amid all the challenges, trials, and messiness of each and every day, Jesus Christ. He is Emmanuel. He is God with us. He is everything that we need. Take some time to stop in the chapel. Go into church, light a candle by the Mary Shrine. And along the way, pick up a wonderful little book that we've been giving out. It's called Life is Messy. It really is. It's a book by Matthew Kelly that gives us the reflection, if you will, the reflection that we need to help us walk through the messiness to a better day with Jesus Christ. Be assured of my prayers and my thoughts as we all slog through the messiness of January into a bright and hopeful future together.